having the champs, you know, finally after you know a year and a half or so absence, it's uh, you know great to see where you're at against the rest of the world. You know, obviously before Rio, um, every competition is a good stepping stone, a good marker where you're at, and it's another good practice at the race and you know, try and get you know perfected, ready for Rio. It's quite you know annoying when you have illnesses and injuries and. Um, you know, I'm going through like a, a tough winter of having a few setbacks and injury injury problems as well. So I have a nursing an injury at the moment. So I'm kind of hoping that it's not going to hold me back too much in the world. But you know, having to choose my sessions wisely and trying to you know, use the ones that can be most effective. I think it's going to be one of those races. It's going to be quite weird because it's altitude. You know, I'm expecting to see my record be broken a few times before I get up onto the uh, onto the start gates. You know, going off last in the race because I'm current world champion, then I get to kind of see my record get broken a few times. The guy who wins on the day will break the record. It's just, that's how fast the track is. And, you know, but yeah, until you go back to altitude again, the record should stand for a long time, which is, you know, quite an incentive to do well.